I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Flying rock storm. It is, isn't it? Are you okay, Ruby? Oh, sorry. I just had this funny feeling like a memory, but I can't remember if I remember it or not. Look, there's another big one! Look! I think the flying rocks are all gone, Ruby. I hope so, Chomper. I hope so. You kids sure look tired. Up all night watching the big flying rock storm, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Well, I expect there will be more flying rocks tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. More flying rocks? That's right. It's all part of the flying rocks of many nights. Flying rocks of many nights? Huh? That's what they call it, and for good reason, too. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it lasts. The course of several nights, then the flying rocks will pass. So while they're here, you'll see them light up the darkest night. But flying rocks up in the sky are no reason for fright. In the sky, the flying rocks streak by. In the sky, you'll see them way up high. In the sky, somehow the rocks can fly. Nobody really knows quite In the sky. In the sky. Say, I just remembered. I remember seeing the flying rocks of many nights before. You have? Yes, I was very little and living in the mysterious beyond. I had wandered off to look for my mom. Mommy? <laughs> Mommy? Ruby! Are you okay? Well, she couldn't have gone far. What if something happened to her? We'll find her. an idea so this will never happen again. It's just beyond Secluded Canyon. This is Hanging Rock. It's a safety place. So if something like this ever happens again, find your way here and I'll do the same. And then we'll find each other. That night was another night of flying rocks and we stayed together <sighs> under Hanging Rock. Now it's happening again. So now I need to return to Hanging Rock. Oh, not now, Ruby. When flying rocks hit the ground in the mysterious beyond, they can start fires. F -f -f fires The mysterious beyond doesn't have as much water as we do here, so a fire can be very dangerous. But if there is danger, my family will go to Hanging Rock to be safe. And I have to go there to make sure they are safe. 
too dangerous, Ruby. Petrie's right. Yeah, it's very dangerous. It is, it is. I think I need to do some thinking in my thinking place. I know it might be dangerous to go, but I'll never feel okay unless I go make sure my family is okay. trees weren't burned the last time I was here. Are we near Hanging Rock yet? I don't know. I can't believe I can't find what I know was there. Well, it was a long time ago. And you were much younger then. Uh, well, we definitely won't get there if we don't go somewhere. This way. This place should look so familiar to me. Ugh, that's because we're going in circles. It's gonna be dark soon, Ruby. <laughs> then let's keep moving. If Hanging Rock is hard to find in the light, I sure won't see it in the dark. Maybe a little rest will help you see Hanging Rock better. I can't rest until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Ooh, Mr. Thicknose was right about the flying rocks coming again tonight. Well, they don't look any more dangerous in the mysterious beyond. Do you see them, Spike? Spike? Where did he go? Spike? Spike, where are you? Hey, Spike, come on back! Guys, shh! <laughs> oh, I was worried 
about you, Spike. Maybe we should rest. <gasps> <laughs> tell you you shouldn't come with me. Shh, they're coming back. <laughs> Where do we go? In here. <gasps> this way. Oh, it's taking so long. <laughs> You're safe now. Thank me later. <gasps> Come on. My name's Skip. When I saw those two rockheads chasing you, I figured you were okay. I've been running from those guys almost all my life. Do you live here with your family? Don't have a family. I don't really remember my parents. Red Claw chased them away a long time ago. At least I think he did. <laughs> Just figuring out they lost you. This way. Thunder and Screech! They're looking for us! <laughs> they won't find you. Nobody knows the mysterious beyond like I do. Do you know Hanging Rock? It's near Secluded Canyon. Hanging Rock? Keep up with me. <sighs> He moves almost as fast as he talks. How's this? Secluded Canyon? I know where. Will you not come with us? Well, I am faster by myself. Plus, there are things I have to do, places I have to be. Back that away. Huh? Okay. Thanks, Skip. We weren't 
expecting anyone else here. We sure weren't expecting you, Ruby. But we're sure glad you're you. I'm glad you're you, too. said too but they came with me anyway they sure did didn't they oh, they must care for you very much yes it's almost like like they're my family too <laughs> yes 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 we are your great valley family we are we are oh thank you ducky chomper <laughs> now that I know you're okay, I need to go back. I still need to help Chomper find out how to help save the mysterious Beyond from Red Claw. We'll always be here for you, Ruby. I know. I'll be back when I return. Long neck? 
Time on. Come on, Skip. You too. Gotcha. Ugh, up you go. You're safe. Littlefoot? Petrie? Sarah? We were worried about you, so we came looking for you. But I knew there was no way we'd find you unless we climbed up here. We find you, but then fire start. Don't worry. We'll head out as soon as the fire dies down. Well, <laughs> looks like the fire will die out quicker than I thought. Welcome to stay in the Great Valley, too. Yep, yep, yep. Would that be okay? I mean, I don't have any family to stay with there. Believe me, Skip. Living in the Great Valley is just like living with one great big family. for swimmer, maybe. Spike? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come and follow me. Just to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow. Stuck. He's stuck, all right. But if Spike's stuck, how he get unstuck? Excuse you, Spike. Oh no! Where did Spike go? 
In hole. In hole? Hole not good. Maybe he will see the tiny sauruses. No, they live in the caves on the other side of the Great Valley. What if something down there, something... Scary. Scary? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Spike heard me because I do not hear Spike. And me not see him either. Ugh. Careful, Petrie. You don't want to fall in too. Fall? <laughs> oh, oh, how is Spike going to get out? I don't know. He's not much of a climber. We're going to need help. Help is good, but I do not want to leave Spike alone. No, no, no. Then we'll go, and you stay. Okay, but please hurry. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Spike and I fell into a hole? I wouldn't want to be Spike. Can't he just dig his way out? Oh, he'd need a big head to dig like that. <laughs> well, at least my head isn't small. Yes, but if your head was on Spike, he wouldn't be Spike. And you wouldn't be you. I'm afraid I must concur with Ruby on this issue. Spike does not possess the strong, flat prow of a three-horn nor the long neck of, well, a long neck. So how is Spike gonna get out? Do you think you could help us rescue Spike, Mr. Thicknose? Why, certainly. Just lead the way. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Speaking of it, you're it! <laughs> What is he doing here? And why is he eating my bed? <laughs> why don't you ask him and find out? I'm not asking him. You ask him. No way. You ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I am Milo, and these are my friends, Lydia and Plower. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, um, what brings you to our world? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not supposed to. Huh? Huh? Maybe. 
maybe this stranger who fell from the mysterious above is the big wise one. The big wise one? No, he's not. Think about where he came from. <laughs> above the mysterious above. Oh, please. The strange white right world we've never been to. Legend says our dreams will come true with the big wise one. Huh. Above the mysterious above. Where our visitor has come from. Do you really think I'm so dumb to think that he's the one? His kindly smile, his giant size. The big wise one is here. Just look into his thoughtful eyes. Your doubts will disappear. Above, above the mysterious above. The mysterious above. How we've looked forward to this day. Oh, big wise one, show us the way So we may share your love From the mysterious above Above The mysterious above He really is the big wise one Mr. Thicknell is going to help Spike out of a hole. He is? Well, good luck then. <laughs> Spike will need it. <laughs> I don't find anything funny about a young Spike tail in trouble. <laughs> oh. Come on, Sarah. I better show them how to save Spike. For you, big wise one. <laughs> oh, big wise one, I must know. Why is it that sometimes the ground shakes and shivers? <laughs> It is you who makes the ground shake. Oh, oh, thank you, Big Wise One. Oh, Big Wise One, when will I be ready to leave my parents' nest and forage on my own? Spike's tummy sounds. Don't worry, Ducky. I'm sure I can think of a way to save Spike. Oh, thinking won't save Spike, but strength will. Now, Mr. Threehorn, in my experience, things like this require careful consideration. Consideration? Oh, bah! Let's just start digging. But if you dig in the wrong place, we might all end up down there. Are you suggesting that I would dig in the wrong place? Yes. You've got to think. Wrong place? That's right. I don't know any hole that's been dug by thinking. You've got to think. You've got to use strength. No, you've got to think. Strength. Think. Strength. Think. Strength. No. Think. Me not understand. Strength. Think. They helping strength. Spike now think. or not? Strength. Think. Doesn't sound strength. like the sound think. of Spike strength. getting out to think. me. Strength. Think. So how is Spike going to get out of that hole? 
Oh, I do not know, but I do hope he is all right. I don't think we should wake him. Oh, what choice do we have? Oh, big wise one. The big wise one? Saving his strength. Maybe, yeah, but the time has come to use that strength. <laughs> oh, big wise one. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, big wise one. We are sorry for the rude awakening, but it is time. <sighs> time to vanquish the great hideous beast. <clears throat> the great hideous beast runs on two legs like a fast spider. Has the helmet of a three horn. And the big scary eyes of a night walker. The great hideous beast! <laughs> Thank you for coming from the mysterious above to save us, big wise one. It's all up to you. <laughs> Bye. was soft enough to swallow Spike. We'll need to use rocks to stabilize. No time for that. We need to dig. I don't think it's that simple. Ha! <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And you're being stubborn. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd just do things my way. Her <laughs> way, yes. We'll get him out my way, my way. We'll do it my way. Oh, no. My way, my way. We'll do it my way. There can be no doubt that I can get Spike out my way. My way. If you'd listen to me, he'd already be free. My way. My way. You can't expect me to believe that your idea could really succeed. My way! My way! We'll do it my way. I say my way. No, my way. We'll, we'll do, do it my way. My, my, my way. way. Did they agree on an idea yet? Me not know. Me too dizzy. Then we'll just have to agree to agree on an idea ourselves. 
Right. <gasps> what about the sticky vines? They are very long. Yep, yep, yep. Not long enough to get all the way down the hole. But they can be even longer by curling one vine with another vine with another vine. Long enough to reach Spike? Spike can just curl the vines around his middle. Then we pull up the vine, and the vines pull up Spike. That's the best idea we've heard all day. Being the big wise one must make you very hungry. <laughs> so we've brought you all the food from our colony. <laughs> You're not getting any this time. <laughs> Enjoy! Wishes to go back to the mysterious above? Mm -hmm. Do you think Spike has seen it? Ah! I think so! Wrap it around your middle, Spike! And then tug it once you're ready and we'll pull you back up! Ready? Goodbye, oh big wise one. You have protected us from the great hideous beast. It is right that you return to the mysterious above and protect others. Oh. <laughs> Where did the great hideous beast go? Huh? You're not Spike. No, no, no. I thought he felt lighter. If Spike's not here, then where... Oh, excuse you, Spike. <gasps> Spike? Spike! You back! Yay! Spy! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> who was that? <laughs> it doesn't matter who that was who was here. What matters is that Spike is the who that is here. And for that, I am glad. Mm. Very glad. If you'd just listen to me. Why should I? My way's better. But Mr. Thicknose and Mr. Threehorn. Spike's already been saved. It. <laughs> well, um, uh, how nice. He would have been rescued earlier if you hadn't argued with me. You're the one who started arguing. I did not. Oh, yes, you did. I did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Guess what I am? Hmm. If I were to guess, I'd guess a belly dragger. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a hopper, Spike. You are, you are. You make a shadow, Petrie. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Uh, I think it's Petrie being nervous. Do not be afraid of the shadows we are making, Petrie. 
Me not afraid of Ducky Shadow. Me afraid of that. <laughs> seen anything like that before. Oh, no, no, no. It sure is strange looking. <laughs> what could it be? Me not know, but me think it got Sarah. <laughs> All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. I take that shortcut. Sarah? <sighs> oh, I'm glad it's you, and not the you I thought was you. <sighs> Why are you guys just standing there? <sighs> Hello, can someone help me get this thing off my horn? <sighs> Come on, everybody, let's pull! Ruby, are you okay? <sighs> oh, my! My star! Me sometimes see stars when me fall. No, my star day star. Look, it's the one right there. It's special because it can only be seen three nights between cold times. Once the star is a foot away from the night circle, it will be my star day. A star day? What's that? A star day is the day you hatched. My mom said that same star appeared in the same place on the same day I hatched. Oh, yeah. It was your star day the day we left the mysterious beyond. Happy Star Day, Ruby. I'm glad we could spend this Star Day together. Me too, Mom. Just saying I love you doesn't say how much I love you. Oh. And we love you too, Ruby. I already miss you, and I haven't even left. Well, you must learn how Chomper's friends in the Great Valley work together. Yes, Ruby. That knowledge could one day save us all Red from... Claw! Kids. Yes, Ruby. Come on, Ruby! This way! Let's 
started was the last day I saw my family. Sorry. Star days with my family were always so happy that thinking about it makes me sad. I didn't mean to make you sad, Ruby. Come on, let's play some more shadow games. <laughs> Thanks, Chomper, but I don't feel like playing anymore. Mina understand. Ruby not alone, she with us. But we're not her family. It's just not the same. She misses them very much. She does, she does. I'm gonna go cheer her up. Let's not make it worse. Star Day today, Ruby. And it's important for you to be clean for your special celebration. <laughs> After all, a Star Day is a very happy occasion. <sighs> Why does thinking about happy Star Days make me feel so sad? I didn't mean to make Ruby sad. I was trying to make her happy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a giving ceremony for Ruby. That is a very good idea. It is, it is. <laughs> and we can make it a surprise. <laughs> Me love surprise. <laughs> wait, everybody, wait. Um, what's a giving ceremony? A giving ceremony is when you give someone their favorite food, duh. <laughs> a giving ceremony is a time for celebrating friendship, giving, <laughs> and also sharing. So what's Ruby's favorite food? I know that! It's sweet bubbles! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Sweet bubbles are her favoritest. They are! Then we'll go get them at the first sign of the bright circle. Yeah, we'll give Ruby the best star day ever. What if Ruby finds us? The surprise will be ruined. Ruby's busy washing, so now's the time to go. Where are we going to find sweet bubbles around here? They don't exactly grow on trees. No, but they grow on vines hidden in the sheltering grass. Sh sheltering grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter where they grow. If they'll make Ruby happy, we'll go anywhere to get them. Right? Right. Right? right. Let's go. Funny thing, it makes me think of time gone by. A glad hello, a sad goodbye. But I'll always hold dear. Remembering makes reappear for good, for bad.
we too close to Mysterious Beyond? Don't worry, Petrie. We'll be fine. My sweet bubbles. Get your own somewhere else. We came for sweet bubbles and we're leaving with sweet bubbles. Got it? <laughs> Ew. That was gross. What we do now? I'm a sharp tooth. I can scare him away. <laughs> that even grosser. What if we tell him why we need the sweet bubbles? He's too busy eating to listen. I think it's worth a try. Excuse me. We would like to have some sweet bubbles for our friend Star Day. <gasps> they are her favoriteest food. Star Day? Did you say Star Day? Why, I've loved my Star Day ever since I was a hatchling. Take as many as you like. like a star day to make you feel nice and <laughs> happy. I can 
can't be with my family, but I can be with my friends. And if I'm not alone, I won't feel alone. But first, I have to find everybody. Let's make a giving place. Shouldn't someone who knows a little more about giving ceremonies be the one giving the orders? Chomper? Littlefoot? It is Ruby! Oh, no, no, no! Ducky, Chomper, let's go stall her! Sarah, you finish setting up! Hmm. <gasps> hello, my friends! My friends, hello! Oh, oh hi, hi, Ruby! Yeah. Ruby? Is there something wrong? Uh, no, we're just, uh, uh... Coming back from a long walk and, um... We are very tired. We are, we are. Oh, well, I was hoping we could all get together and play together. Well, we should probably take a rest. Maybe later. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just go to my thinking place to watch my Star Day star. <sighs> well, I guess a lonely Star Day is better than no Star Day. Because if I didn't have a Star Day, then I wouldn't have hatched. And not hatching would be much lonelier than a lonely Star Day. <gasps> where we were going to have your giving ceremony. We even got your sweet bubbles. <laughs> These were for you, Ruby. Sorry your star day isn't so happy. Mm, but it is happy. It is? Sure, you didn't have to do what you did, but you did.
not be with my family, but I sure do feel at home. <laughs>